Hey guys, Paul with CP Addicts here today. Uh, we're in Mooresville, Indiana with Firewire LEDs. This is Brian. Hello. Um, we, we drove 900 and some odd miles to come up here to show you the products that we sell from directly from the manufacturer. Um, as most of you know, all of our headlights come uh, with the option for the 907 LED headlight bulbs along with a variety of other products. We met what? five, six years ago at a, a decent event, yeah. roughly. And through the years, we've, we've gotten connection with like Ryan Milliken and a few others in the industry, and we've kind of kind of grown our companies together, if you will. And uh, I approached you, and you kind of almost approached me at the same time about carrying your products, and it was just, it was almost a perfect fit at the time. I guess not to, knock the product but at the time you know i knew you i knew your company but i didn't know your product sure. so skeptical absolutely you know why i can buy it on ebay for 29.95 why am i going to buy from you for a hundred dollars so you're like screw it here yep try them out that's the best way to do it and so chris and basically everybody at the shop now runs your products in their trucks because it was proof was in the pudding if you will absolutely. you know when it comes to the light itself so We've grown from buying 10 at the time from you to now we buy almost 100 sets a month from you. Sure. Um, customers have really found the quality and the light and we've had like a stupid low return rate. I don't know what your actual- More work. less than 0 0.001 return rate. So, you know, we, we don't ever have any issues with them. So it, it just is no brainer for us to carry your product. So we drove 902 Two. miles from Southeast Texas to Mooresville, Indiana here, because I wanted to put you, the customer, in with Brian, so he can explain in depth how his lights are the quality light and, and why why they're the best on the market. So if you don't mind explaining you know, sure. the lights and what comes with them and how you design them, how you came up with them, you know, what, basically what makes it tick. Sure, absolutely. Um, so what we started with was your just your basic run of the mill, um, cheap eBay, Amazon lights, just to get a base. Um, my background actually was uh, allhids.com. I started that. Um, so I've been in the headlight industry since about 2006. Uh, we've done a lot of testing. We've done a lot of trial and error. Um, LEDs came around and uh, as everybody knows, I tried them, they weren't so great. Pretty, pretty pathetic. Um, but as technology and everything goes, uh, you know, lots of upgrades, lots of uh, technology stuff. So moving forward, um, we started in the LEDs in the police, fire, and safety industry. So we do a lot of emergency stuff where people rely on the lights. And yeah. they, I mean, you have to, you know, they have to work. Well, they can't be going down the road and their headlight go out. No, I mean, no. That's that yeah, pull themselves over. Yeah, <laughs> right there also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. But, so going forward, um, not a lot of testing stuff. So being in ambulances and police cars, they run pretty much 24-7. Yeah. So then, they get really hot. Or, or it's really cold in the winter. So I mean, we've got kind of a great testing base. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, you know, and there's a lot of uh, other options that are very expensive as far as like heated ones and stuff. And areas where you need it, yeah, that's absolutely a good idea. Well, I know since we've been carrying your product, you've actually gone through two or three different changes since then, yeah. improving the product each time for our consumer. Yep, absolutely. So, and, and, and you know, we'll know right out of the gate with the product change or with the diode change or with the circuit board change, um, whether it's gonna last or not. Right. You know. So, um, being with the older trucks, um, technology is not uh, that, I guess, complex as yeah. it is the newer vehicles. Well, you don't have all the circuits and stuff. It, it makes these wind up being just a 100% plug and play, just yep, absolutely. go. Um, so, Bright is obviously an issue, um, they have to be bright. And then the other thing is uh, longevity and to make them last. So in Texas, it's kind of long sometimes. So. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so circuit boards tend to get hot. Well, ambulances and stuff sit there and run. Well, most of them are diesel trucks and they get really hot. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we had to drive different fans on our circuit boards because they kept overheating. Right. Uh, one of the things that um, we 
done here recently was upgrade the fans, upgrade the motors. Right. Uh, we did build in a, uh, a heat sensor on the circuit board. So if they do get too hot, it will shut off. And then it'll come back on. I've never had that happen in all the ones that I've seen. Yep. So it, it must have to be really, really hot. It that. does. It does. Um, the new Super Duty sets rare, but it does happen on those. And people call and they kind of you know get a little worried. And like, is it flickering or is it just shutting off and then coming back on in a few minutes? Is it while you're driving down the road or is it when you're sitting? Ninety-nine percent of the time, it's while they're sitting. It's, it's sitting or idling yeah. in the summertime. Air conditioners on, building the extra heat. Right. That sort of thing. Get going down the road, that's fine. Cools back off. So we do have a fan on them. We'll open them up here. Um, so as you talk about brightness. Um, our light bulbs are eight thousand lumens each bulb. So a lot of people ask if it's a pair or if it's each bulb. It is actually each bulb. So so each one of these particular bulbs is eight thousand. Eight thousand lumens. Yeah. Okay. So this is a high low, the nine double oh seven. These are three. You can see how it's like a little triangle. Yeah. It has three diodes. So for low beams, two are on. High beams, all three are on. Okay. So there's not a real big difference from low beams to high beams. Well, and one of the other things that you were telling me earlier is with your products, you try to make your product as complete as possible. When it comes and you open the box, it should have everything other than the basic tools you need. Sure. But I know this one even comes with the basic tool you need yep. for the install. So there should be no no problem on the install. Absolutely. So every headlight's a little bit different uh, depending on... Okay, so they come with halogen bulbs in your factory vehicle. Right. Okay, so they do a 360 degree output of them. Right. So the reflectors in there are designed to just put the light wherever it needs to be. On, on an LED, it's a triangle. So some of them are a little bit different than the others depending on if they're aftermarket housings or it's a truck or a van or a car. Right. Yeah. It's, it's completely different. So we actually have an Allen mesh and a set screw okay. so we can clock this. To get the housing right so you yes. get the correct output. Yes. Um, and it's important to do it like on a white wall or a garage door or something. Right. Right. Put them in. So you can have the, the perfect mm -hmm. beam. Absolutely. And episode two, uh, Brian's going to show us on my personal truck because that's the best way to, to run anything. He's going to show us how to properly install these lights and, and give everybody a crash course on how to get them clocked properly to get the perfect light beam for your vehicle. So so your lights, as, as seen right here, you, they come with the set screw or the Allen or the set screw so you can clock the lights right to get the beam pattern correct in your headlights. They come with basically a product manual tells you about the lights and how to install them and all that. And you get two bulbs with the 9007 socket, so it's 100% plug and play. So if you ever do have an issue, like you were saying, uh, you know, if it gets hot or you know something like that, and, and the bulb quits working, you can actually just flip flop back to your your halogen bulb yeah, temporarily, so you're not without a light. And and usually warranty is you'll have a new bulb in like two days. It's yeah. never, never a long amount yeah. of time. Our, so. our warranty process, you know, you have the same deal. Um, you know, it's all on the website and I'm sure you guys yeah. do the same thing. Um, it's definitely a good idea to, to not throw away your factory bulbs. A lot of people do. Um, I mean, it's it's electronics. They're, they're going to go bad eventually. Something's going to happen, whatever. Um, it's we, just it's always good to have a, a, a backup plan. Absolutely. Just a, a just in case you never want to use it. Okay. Have to, you know want to have to use it, but in case you do, it's there, and you're not running to the parts store and spending another twenty five dollars on a set of bulbs while you're waiting on your warranty to come. Yep, absolutely. And when you're on the road as much as you are, it, it's not about it. Well, I mean, in the last the last three weeks, I've been five thousand miles, or actually actually seven thousand miles in the last three weeks. So yes, yeah. on the road quite a bit, and you don't like to be stranded going down the road with one headlight. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, this is a big question we get all the time, and I know you're probably sick and tired of hearing this same question, but I get a lot of people that will send me a picture of this bulb and do the photo crop thing and send me a picture of a bulb from like Harbor Freight or eBay or someplace like that. And go, what's the difference? Better than they look the same. Well, they may look the same, but the technology is not the same. No. From what I understand. So can you fill me in on? Sure. 
So if you put our bulb next to, um, say, one that you find that's exactly similar, yeah. um, the outside, you're probably not going to notice much of a difference. You'll notice a little bit better on the quality, on the plugs, or on the fan, or something like that. Now, longevity and temperature-wise is where you're going to see the difference. Because of like what you talked about earlier, the diodes y'all have done, the fan testing you've done, especially in like the, the ambulances, fire trucks, cop cars, things like that, where it gets hot, cold, hot, cold. Obviously, here in Indiana, it gets pretty cold in the wintertime, so you have really low temperatures that you've tested them against. So Yeah, we actually um, sell our products in three countries. So these headlights are all the way from New York to Texas to Hawaii to Alaska in northern parts of Canada and all the way down to Puerto Rico. So, you, so everybody calls and says, hey, what's, how do they work in the winter time? There's no issue at all. But I know we've, I, I think in the last two years of selling these, I think I've warranted two headlight bulbs. Sure. Yeah. And, and one of them I'm pretty positive was install air, which hard to screw up it, and install. It's pretty hard, but you, you'd be surprised. You, you can get that. But that, that's that's the main key. That's that's why I wanted to come here, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for, for lack of a better term, when it comes from the horse's mouth, sure. of of the the light itself and what makes the differences, you know, from from the quality of the internals to the testing, you know, this is this is why this is a superior product. To anything you're going to find for twenty nine ninety five. Yeah, and we do offer a two year warranty, and, and it's real cut and dry warranty. If it doesn't work, it's covered. Well, and that's you know that's one of the things that we. I won't say we tout on our website, but that's that's one of the best things about this product is is the warranty that's behind it. Sure. Like it, it's it's super simple. Like, hey man, I got a customer that's got a headlight out. All right, what's their address? Send me a picture of the plug cut off of it so I know it's a bad light. The end. They have a new headlight shipped out to them. UPS with a tracking number, usually same day. Yep. Absolutely. So yeah, we we keep a reserve just for warranty, just in case. Right. Now that reserve has dwindled down over the years as technology has become a lot better. Right. Um, the other thing, uh, you know, if anybody knows Firewire and has dealt with this, right. they know we stand behind our product. Right. And, and, you know, not to push the envelope, if you will, but if it's two years and a month, you're pretty much still going to cover the warranty yep. on it because you, you believe in your product sure. and, and you stand behind your customer, us and the people that are running the lights on their trucks yep. just as much as the first day that they were sold uh, because, because they are you don't sell junk you sell a quality yep. and, the, and the quality that you sell you're willing to stand behind and not go well yeah i don't know you and yeah. that was two and a half years ago <laughs> and i uh, well there's no fine print there's no gimmicks nothing like that what we you know we try to the biggest thing for us is a brand that people can trust, right? Well, yeah, and, and that yeah. I mean, we're we're human too. Well, you try and put out a quality product the best you can to the best of your ability, and be there to stand behind it. Like you said earlier, things will fail, things will happen, everything breaks. I mean, everything breaks. There's nothing that's superior. I don't care what anybody says. So you know, when when you can stand behind your product and you can say, this will last. I know it will, and I'm willing to stand behind it. You're, you're not, I, I feel like it's kind of like the, the Tommy Boy scene. <laughs> Take a crap in a box and put a guarantee on it, but it doesn't mean anything if there's nobody there to stand behind it. So you've got the guarantee on it, and you're there behind it. Because I know I have personally called you, not even just called the front counter here, I personally called you and said, hey, I've got an issue with a, with a customer's life. And you're like, hey, got it, done. Yep. You know, and there's never, you know, I, I can I can call and call it two in the morning if I need to, and get something taken care of, which is which is a great thing for us and for our customers because if I can trust the product, I don't have I don't have any I don't have any problem selling it to my customer, hoping and praying that it lasts and that I don't hear back from them because their stuff is broke. I sell it with confidence, knowing that. It's not coming back. Yeah, and that's yeah. that's what I tell everybody, uh, shop owners and stuff, that, that actually sell our products, try it in your own vehicle. And let me know what you think of it. Exactly. You know, if there's feedback, I'm willing to take, I want to know. Uh, that actually, that's more hard to do for us that we don't have, have to do. Well, and you know, it's easier to, to sell a product when I know 
who's standing behind the yeah, product. Absolutely. And, and I know most of our customers, they rely on these trucks for everything from hauling cow feed to taking the kids to school to just being, just to being a toy. And when you rely on your truck, you want your products that you buy to be reliable. You're, some people buy cheap stuff and there's nothing you're gonna be able to do about that. They're, they're, it's just, it is what it is. But the customers that, that like quality, which most everybody that owns an OBS knows the quality in that truck, and that's the reason why they own it. They want a quality product put on their truck. They don't want just some sort of cheap gimmick crap Absolutely. to put on there. So kind of, I guess, in conclusion here, you sell a quality product that you stand behind that allows us to stand behind the product and allows us to be comfortable selling to our end user that has their baby. Yep. Because, I mean, this is my baby just like Everybody else. Well, we treat all our customers the same. It doesn't matter if it's an ambulance or if it's a, an OBS truck or if it's a rack. It really doesn't matter. You know, you, you need to have like some. Exactly.